Hey everybody, welcome back to Red Dead. We had a good night's sleep. Everybody's back at their stations. That was kind of, that was a really cool, like, it was a subtle story moment where you just got to, like, chill with the group. And, uh, I really appreciated that. It was well done. Uh, we do have some stuff that we need to donate to Pearson. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Now, these are not, these are not amazing for him, but... Very good. We were getting low. Yeah, you're welcome, buddy. Uh, all of this stuff I think I'm gonna keep. I don't see any reason to donate to him. Uh, we could give him, like, meat and stuff, but by the same token, I think we're better off keeping it to cook. Enjoy. Oh, dear. This is gonna be a long day. I feel you. I feel you. Now, in terms of, like, provisions that we can grab here, I haven't seen that yet, but maybe it's because we're low. Maybe there's not anything that we can actually take. Beer bottles, I don't see why I would need it. I will grab some food and some coffee on our way out, and then we will, uh, get rocking and rolling. Actually, every time we leave here, it's like early morning when the stew's not ready, so... I need a drink. We should just, uh, we should just sleep in later, obviously. And Deadeye, we're actually full up, so... We're in a good spot. Alright. I've refilled ammo. I think we're pretty much ready to go. It's just a matter of figuring out where do we want to head to. There's a couple of these uh, outstanding uh, requests, which I'm open to fulfilling. They're not really in the vicinity of anywhere that we're going, and they're not a high priority. So what I'm thinking is we head over to Hosea. And actually, you know what? What we could do, we could go down here to Emmett Granger. And tackle this. This is the one that's for... Let me turn off this index. Should be around here according to the notes on Levin's photograph. Yeah. Okay. Let's do this. And then we'll head over to Hosea. Coming through. I'd like to spend some time uh, hunting at some point. Maybe looking for some of those legendary animals. We got that map. And uh, taking those to that tracker seems like some pretty cool outcomes. Yeah. Come on. Wait, what's over here? Wait, what? Go. What is going on here? Open the damn lock. Give me the damn key. Master, help! Hey, shut up. Hey. Get out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. We've we've come ill-equipped. We whipped out the bow and arrow. The guy looks like he's still alive. Mister, I don't hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You done me a service. Hey, look. The stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you oh. can take what you want from it. That's it ain't stealing so cool. if it's already stolen. <laughs> Got that right. That's cool. Thanks, man. I guess. Repeater cartridges were full up. That's not a bad haul. Could be worse. Might as well take the O'Driscoll stuff. What do we have in this area that's right next to us? Oh, we got uh, a stranger. Okay. We'll check this out too. Oh, this guy up, up top here. I think we'll leave him for now. Let's go before this passerby thinks we did something weird. What the hell's going on here? Oh. 
because if they did, they can get lost. <laughs> I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at, balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? I'm pretty sure. Those wretches will do anything <laughs> to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Well, that's a Just good name. Now, it's not bad. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis. Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Where do you well, find these? And Just... we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. <sighs> <laughs> Such a noble cause. You, Dinosaur bones. Wow, okay. So there's tons of them. Yeah. Likely not gonna... Won't find them all the time, but... Now, come on. Another thing to keep our eye out for. It'll probably get marked yeah. for us, if I had to guess. Well, hello there. Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew <laughs> Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? That's right. <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, guess what I'll be doing. Done it half the time. I don't know about <laughs> that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. <laughs> These better be some stories. I don't even oh, care yeah. if they're made up. Pick up the fork and get to work. Press but square yeah, when you're manure to scoop it. My time. Using the pitch I'm gonna do this for you, but I don't like it. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children too. Animals? I even killed rocks, and I killed them good. Oh wow, you're a badass. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. I don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> Like how he immediately starts talking about himself. Folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Bury folks alive. Oh, wow, you're One tough. Time, I, I get it, all right? You're me. What about Callaway? You have no idea, girly. By a feminine type like you, I'd probably have chopped your head off, 
stuffed you and eaten you like a sausage. You want to try that? Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on, tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me there. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time... You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? Well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this far. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote from the book! Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man a piece, no government witness. <laughs> Calloway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girly. Go don't for it. Worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Hey, your pig well, farm? Seeing as I cleaned up this pig's die, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. Well, speak up, buddy. That's my stick. Place it on the manure store, okay. You walk away right now. I'm not walking away. Don't do it! There you go. Had your chance. No. No. No! You didn't know! <laughs> oh. You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killer. Bring it. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw. It's gonna be the last thing you do. Slowly press it to fill the meter. The more full. Okay. Well, sure was nice chatting with you. Go to the item wheel, camera. <laughs> Good quote, thanks. That was fantastic. What about the pigs now? We'll see if maybe we can let them roam free. There you go, boys. Oh, really? You know what? Let's just open it. You guys, get out of here. <laughs> You're free! Go! Run wild! Get out! This guy's really confused. Come on. Get out. Well, I tried. I'll push it this way. Would that be easier? There you go. I'll figure it out. You leaving? Fine. What kind of gun is it that he dropped here? Granger's revolver? Well, it was a little bit of a messy job. Uh, you know what? Let's check his place, actually. Seriously? Okay. 
All right, I can see how these might all go down. I wonder if any of them will talk. We get some good draw in there. Good draw practice. The challenge with the draws is it says you're supposed to fill a meter, but I don't... Because they happen so quick, I don't see a meter. I just, I'm holding R2 and then I'm taking a shot. What happened here? Whoa, easy. Oh, hey, you there. Think you could help a lady out? Oh, I've seen this trick before. My horse up and died on me, twisted my ankle something fierce. Think you could give me a ride? Yeah, sure. Hop on. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Are we getting set up here? You know Emerald Ranch? That's where I'm going. Mind taking me there? Sure. Glad I ran into you. Huh. I raised that horse, you know. Raised it since it was just a foal. Oh, uh, losing a horse is hard. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that horse did right by me. Better than my husband, truth be told. <laughs> that fool. Always complaining. But does he do something about it? Man barely lifts his hand to wave the flies away. Aside from to lift a drink, of course. Marriage for me has been nothing but trouble. Why are you telling me this? He was a fine animal. Loyal, smart, brave. Didn't take no guff, not from no one. Had one of them mountain boys pull a gun on me once. I was riding up near the Dakota and had stopped by a nice warm patch. Must have dozed off, but I wake up and find some nasty piece of work pointing a rusty shotgun straight at me. Well, he gets wheezing on, and I must have made some sort of noise, because the next thing I know, Biscuit had nipped his ear clean off. Kicked his hide, too, as he was hollering away. Didn't think a man could run so fast. Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah, had a good laugh on that one. <laughs> I tell the husband, what does he do? Should have never gone over there, honey, he says. Gee, thanks. <laughs> So, you live at Emerald Ranch then? For the time being. I was looking for work. They was looking for some help with the gardens. If I waited any longer for my husband to put food on the table, I'd have died of starvation. Yeah. I'll be moving on soon. Really likes that guy. Emerald Ranch, well, it's a strange place. Why is that? Oh, we're getting close now. Why is it strange? I don't think we know why Jose is here either. Here we go. This is great. This was kind of you, mister. Please take this as my way of thanking you. Thanks, I guess. <laughs> oh. Appreciate it. <sighs> what a lousy day. Interesting way of putting it, James. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves to this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your uh -oh. business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, <laughs> but a cousin. Oh. Marriage. I also want to see if you've got what it takes. Now, you survive that, 
Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmen de Dell. That's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> okay. We're gonna rob your cousin by marriage. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. We've done crazier really? things. Really? Arthur. Let's just clear this. Ah. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? Watch out. The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. Hey, wait for me. Come on now. Can we just ride together? <laughs> Come on, old man. So what were you talking about before? That's what you call it. Clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. I wonder how much money is Come in on, it, though. It's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus's old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. We could... That would be pretty sick to, like, become full-on... So what's the story with that... Carriage Emerald thieves. Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. Hey, let's keep it down now. We must Maybe that's what she was insinuating. About be uh, it being weird. Ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Because if they got nothing in there, what's keeping them going? I guess it could be this kind of stuff. There's the house. Maybe they're all See sketch. See the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. I don't see anybody right now. Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get oh. the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Ooh, interesting. I think night. Let's try nightfall. Just wait. Yeah, let's try it. Okay, let's go. Sure. Deep slumber to you go into the house. Deep action. I'll go find this wagon. Let's not screw this up. Bandana's on. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. You got it. We got lights inside right now. I don't know if people are awake. Looks clear.
There's stairs in the back. Is that a weapon by the uh, fireplace? Ooh, hold on. Oh, that's somebody's bedroom right here. Okay. Do this very quietly. Shh. Rob the house $45 worth of items. <laughs> Straight money here. Oh, it's a broom that we saw. I know people were st stuffing stuff in the chimney in that one place that we were at. Hundred and fifty bucks! Chimneys, man. I don't like that we automatically start standing. Okay, we're gonna take that and get out of here. That's a lot of coin. Get on, dear boy. Oh, oh. That was pretty successful. Oh, you want me to drive? Come on, get on and let's head back. Whoa, that's so cool. In and out. Way more than we bargained for too. Chimneys, that's where it's at, man. We learned that when we were searching uh, Cole Muldriscoll's supposed chim chimney. And the guy who's now in our camp was telling us uh, to check it, so that's cool. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Yes, wait. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. Go on. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Significantly. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? No answer. So, here's something strange. Seamus was telling me how he also makes these little trinkets for people from animal claws, teeth, and such like. We must be able to go faster than this. <laughs> I'm listening to your stories, old man. What? Like a rabbit's foot? Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Hard right. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. By marriage. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. That's so but cool. discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yeah. Sure. So this is probably how the town is surviving, but he did- he's doing this outside of his boss's knowledge, so... What does his boss do, I wonder? Emerald Ranch. We'll have to check that out. 
a little bit more in the future. Three? That's a lot, man. Easy, you can now sell easy. stolen wagons to Seamus at the wagon fence. That's a whole other income stream. That's what that is. Now, who's flashing over here? Oh, Marston. Okay. In addition to buying stolen wagons, he runs a fence. Visit a fence to sell valuables, buy illicit goods, or craft talismans and trinkets. So... Some of the stuff we couldn't sell before, it was most of the stolen goods, uh, which means that now we have a place. Hey, Arthur. What are you looking at there, John? What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> oh. What did he say? Let's do it. Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? Well, of course. You mean like blowing it up? Full of something flammable. Yeah. Oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. <laughs> uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you might be the first bastard... To ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Okay. It's a cool idea. It's a cool idea. I just hope it doesn't backfire on us. Uh, let's see. So we can go back to Micah, it seems. Which is pretty nice. Here's where the oil wagons are. We still have to visit up here at some point. I think this is another uh, quick draw. Yep. And down here, is this a quick draw? Black Bell? Yep. And then Billy Midnight. A few people we need to visit for that, but no rush to get there. We'd want to go and get the oil wagon. And then take it to where he said... Said just over the border, so that'll be that'll probably open up a few things. And then Mike is available to chat again as well. Has ever made it to Australia yet? <laughs> Bill, you ever get there in the army? Huh? Australia? Sure. I don't believe for one minute that you ever made it to Australia. Well, man, you'd be right. I never I'm gonna give 108 right? bucks. 67 cents just to round it out nicely. Chicago ain't nowhere near Australia. No, but it's on the way. And then we'll start looking at maybe buying ourselves some new weaponry, some better gear. It's nice to see other people are contributing at least. Charles, not bad. 
Pearson's wagon restock, Strauss's wagon upgrade, Arthur's wagon upgrade. Okay. Uh, tonics and premium liquors for the medicine if we want. Dutch want something comfier. Maybe we should actually upgrade this, because eventually that gets us to fast travel. I think the way that it works is that we can only fast travel back to this camp. Uh, but that would be nice, because if we're going out in one direction, um, and we just are going to come back the same direction, then it's not so bad. Just to have the option is nice, that but... Is what I like to see. That just logs in me. Upgraded other camp members have been inspired to contribute more. Okay, good. We'll take that. And then, uh, next in line, Arthur wants a map to help plan journeys. This is likely... Unlocks the fast travel map, allowing you to quickly travel to previous discovered locations. Also unlocks grooming supplies. Okay, so it doesn't... It doesn't mean we can just travel back to here. We can travel wherever we want, which is also pretty nice. Chicken coop. Some local fa farms are selling chicken coops. Adds nutrition to all camp stews. Deadeye boost when consuming stew. Okay. I think investing in our camp as much as we can, we definitely reap those benefits, so... Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll take a break here. When we come back, uh, we'll head out and fix ourselves to rob that train. So, let's have a good, serious snooze here. I think we'll go till noon so we can eat some stew. Not sure that we even need it, but... We've never We never get to partake in the, in the camp stew, and I feel bad about it. See you guys tomorrow.